Welcome back to our Repricer demo playlist. In this video, we're going to show you how you can review your results within Repricer. Let's first take a look at our results at a high level on our dashboard. As we've touched upon before, we've got some high level information at the top of the screen, including the products imported, those configured and not configured, and buy box winner. If you click on any of these numbers, you can pull back these products on your product screen. Below these, we have your repricing insights. The repricing insights give you a high level view of how your account is repricing. We'll just very quickly go through each of these in turn. First, we have improving products, which just gives you a breakdown of some products which have been specifically improving well on your account. Next, we have repricing events, which is a breakdown of the repricing activity on your account. Spikes and troughs in activity will happen. However, if you find prolonged periods where your activity massively increases or decreases, it suggests there might well have been changes in your competition that need to be looked at. Buy box ownership gives you a breakdown of the last seven days ownership of the buy box. It breaks down products where you have the buy box, don't have the buy box or share the buy box. Win back the buy box gives you a breakdown of products where you've recently lost the buy box, but could well re-secure it if you reduce your min price. These are worth reviewing to see if there's any scope to make these changes. The buy box predictor gives you a breakdown of how many products might well win the buy box if you make small changes to your min max prices across your products. I feel sales performance is pretty self-explanatory. It gives you a breakdown of how your products are selling and compares this to the number of products you have configured on your account. And lastly, out of stock products gives you a breakdown of products that have sold well in the past that are now out of stock. So you should have a look and see if there's anything you can do to get them back into stock. Now let's have a look at your results on a product level. The first breakdown of results is right here on the main table on the product screen. You'll see a breakdown of the core information about your product, as well as a breakdown of your results, especially if you've entered your cost price. As I've touched upon before, you can customize the view to display whatever information you want using this option. But let's click on a product to bring up its information. As we've touched on before, the repricing sidebar gives you a breakdown of useful information about your product. When it comes to results, scroll down to the bottom to the cost section to get a profitability breakdown. This of course will only apply if you've entered your cost prices, but let's actually take a look at our repricing history by clicking repricing events. Here we are on the repricing events page filtered specifically to this product. What the repricing events page does is it gives you a chronological look at all repricing events on this product. A repricing event is any change to the product's repricing. This might be whenever the product itself changes price or when a competitor changes price. Some special rule features such as sleep mode, kickstart, buy box chaser and others will also have their own events. You can actually control these using the filters on the top. This is perfect for getting a feel for how often we're repricing the product and how active your competition is. If you're finding large numbers of events are happening, it indicates that you've a very active product and thus will want to be competitive. You'll also notice the eye icon under reason. If you hover over it, it'll give you a breakdown of why we repriced the way we did. Moving back to our product screen, we're going to bring up our product insights. Click product insights on the top of any of your products. All right, let's think of it this way. Our events is a breakdown of our repricing history, while our product sidebar is a snapshot of our product information at that time. Our product insights is an overview of how our product has been performing over time. You'll see some of the same snapshot information you'd get on the sidebar, but you'd also find an awful lot more information here. First of all, let's take a look at our product timeline. The product timeline gives us a breakdown of recent changes to our min, max and rule. It also lets us know if the buy box has changed ownership. This is very helpful for understanding recent changes you've made and how they might have impacted your repricing. Next we have our sales trend and it does exactly what you'd expect it does. It gives us a breakdown of how our sales have been performing over the past while. This breaks down your sales and also your orders. Moving on to repricing movement, it gives us a trend of how we've been repricing how many reprices have recently occurred, as well as how many of them have had our prices go up and how many have gone down. If we click to expand, we can also get a fantastic chart which breaks down our price, the buy box price, and the lowest price over the last few days. Now last and far from least, we have our buy box ownership. It gives you a breakdown of the buy box ownership on this product, both for you and your competitors. This is particularly helpful to keep an eye on how your buy box performance is going on this product, and I would strongly recommend keeping an eye on it. And that's the end of this video in our playlist. 
Next, we're going to have a look at your account settings. See you there.